The Skinner Auto Group in Richfield Springs and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning and happy birthday to Lori Jacob from Christina and Amina. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. Today we're traveling all over and we're taking a little side trip to one of my favorite places in the Mohawk Valley, Cooperstown. So stay tuned. By the time we're finished, we will have visited Packers, Pasta, and Pottery. Pretty good, huh? Did you ever all of Today at 11.30, it's the KAC Chili Days. Buy a handmade bowl and enjoy a variety of chilies, fresh breads, and desserts. That's today at 11.30 at the Kirkland Arts Center on East Park Row in Clinton. Watch Mohawk Valley Living every Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and 11.35 p.m. on WKTV. And check out what's new on MohawkValleyLiving.com. Later in the show, new shops to visit all year round here in Old Forge. Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs is your Ford store and your local dealer for Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. You'll find a dedicated sales team ready to serve you and help you find the right vehicle to fit your style and budget. Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs. Now you're thinking smart. In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospitals on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment and you're only available on the weekend. Sure, I have an appointment Sunday with Dr. Karen. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Alex and Nika Restaurant in the heart of Cooperstown. Come in and relax. Fabulous cocktails and eclectic cuisine with something for every taste and budget. Our upstairs dining room is available for parties or private dining. Bring family and friends or that special someone. Alex and Nika Restaurant, open every day for lunch and dinner. Got a grandchild? Then you gotta get to Cobbler & Company. Their children's area is expanding, including new huggable Sesame Street characters by Gund. And it's your source for Melissa and Doug. From puzzles to puppets, magnets, music, and more. Cobbler & Company in Sharon Springs. Bring the kids and their favorite dollar teddy bear to the Sweetheart Sales and Tea Party Saturday, February 11th. Enjoy Sweetheart Sales while the kids have tea with Raggedy Ann and Andy and special guest Elmo. Saturday, February 11th from 1 to 3 at the Shops at 25 West in Little Falls. Spa services have returned to historic Sharon Springs. Modern spa amenities with old world hospitality. Give the gift of wellness. Available instantly at springhousespa.com. Old dirt roads and long country miles mean the world to my heart. Fishing down by the tall oak tree Trying to catch the ones that got away Ooh, take me back Ooh, let me stay The Weekly Adirondack, the news voice of Old Forge, presents Adirondack Journal. Good morning, I'm Gary Van Riper. Welcome to Adirondack Journal. The Adirondack Ice Bowl is just wrapping up its weekend here in the uh, Fulton Chain of Lakes and in Inlet. And uh, next weekend is the Winter Carnival at Macaulay Mountain here in Old Forge. Um, snowmobiling is a real big deal here in this region. Uh, but along with all these events in the snowmobiling, one might wonder, are many of the shops open? What about the restaurants? And they are. 
In fact, I'm standing in the Gallery 3040 right now, one of the shops that's open year-round. And uh, if you want to add some color to your winter landscape, you can stop by here. There's uh, many artists represented, many different forms of art. In fact, I'd like you to meet Sue right now, the manager here, and uh, she'll tell you a little more about it. There are over 25 artists represented here. Um, we opened in May of 2010. Debbie Burrington opened it. She is originally from Vermont. She lives here about five, for about five years, and she's an artist. She's always wanted to open a gallery, and she also does framing downstairs, so it's kind of a dream come true for her. I think it is important to be open year-round in Old Forge, just so people know that we don't close in the winter. We do have the snowmobile industry, but we like to bring people in all seasons. Now I've been to Mountain's house And my share of troubles too But if I could do it all again so we've just seen the work of many local artists, and uh, perhaps you have kind of an artistic streak in you that you want to expand on and develop. And uh, so we're at a place right now, uh, Patty's Paper Craft Studio, and you're going to find out how you can become an artist yourself, even if you can't draw or paint. A lot of people dream about moving up here into the Adirondacks, you know, living here, working here year-round. Well, Patty Delano and her family have really traveled all over the world. Her husband's in the service right now and he's getting ready to retire and they've landed here in the Adirondacks. Out of all the places that they could be, they really wanted to be here. Well, I've been stamping for 15 years. I started when I worked at a local craft store in, um, where we lived in D.C. and uh, I needed to learn so I could teach stamping. Um, I've been stamping ever since. And when I came here to the Adirondacks and I opened up the store, I wanted to focus totally on outdoor camping, fishing, hiking, that kind of thing. And when I went looking for one stamping company that sold all those type of stamps, there wasn't one. One company would have four stamps, one company would have three, but no one carried a whole line of stamps. So I said, uh, I'm going to design my own and make my own. And so that's what I've been focusing on is Adirondack um, traditional images, um, Adirondack activities. I'll be focusing on the animals and plant life in the Adirondack and have a whole line of rubber stamps. I teach stamping classes um, and you can also come in at any time that I'm open or by appointment for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Um, I don't draw. I don't uh, paint. I don't, but I love to create art and this is a way that you can create something handmade, something original, something that looks really pretty um, without actually having to draw. The images are already on the stamp, so you learn different stamping techniques to create various types of cards, and it's very simple once you learn how to do it. Well, we were just leaving Old Forge, and um, we couldn't help but notice on our way out of town this incredible ice wall that's been built at Tony Harper's Pizza and Clam Shack. It's located right here in the center of Old Forge, and uh, it's very unique. It's kind of a, a winter addition that the owner, Lisa Murphy, and her husband kind of constructed and uh, put here for their uh, customers to enjoy. I just met Lisa for the first time and learned from her that they're actually open all year round uh, for the working man here, but also for the winter tourists that come on through. I also learned a little bit of uh, trivia from Lisa about the ice. It was actually manufactured at a company in the Mohawk Valley in Clayville, a uh, place that was actually um, featured on the show a few years ago. While we enjoy some of Tony Harper's Adirondack specialties, like their popular racket cheesesteak, the Mountain Maniac Grilled Chicken, and their signature whiskey wings, we hope you enjoy this flashback to the Clayville Ice Company. Even in a crowd it's another hot one. So what better place to visit than the Clayville Ice Company? In 1969, Gary Evans bought Copeland's original 1928 Block Ice Company in North Utica and moved it here to Clayville. It is one of the very few Block Ice manufacturers still left in the United States. And no one knows more about making ice than Gary. Processes, we got about 30,000 gallons of, of salt brine, sodium brine, and we run it about 18 degrees and uh, it takes about two days to freeze a block of ice, 300 pounds, uh, which I think is 35 gallons of water. And uh, then we pull it and uh, you know, goes into the freezer and um, do it all with ammonia and uh, runs beautiful. 
But we usually, most of the corn ice is, like, is for like corn and concrete. You know, they don't buy it for, they buy it for banquets and like that probably, but that's about it. I would say 90% of our ice goes for sweet corn in uh, New York State. A lot of it goes to Kingston, most of it goes to uh, Kingsbury. They have 5,000 acres of sweet corn and you can't ship ice without ice, or ship corn without ice. So um, it's a long process, but um, without this plant, you wouldn't see 5,000 acres of sweet corn because there'd be no way to ship it. Most of his corn goes to Texas. Also, he ships it also to England and France, too. I asked Gary how much ice they make a day here. He told me 50 ton. Now, ice, again, takes me back a few more years. The show kind of makes me think of my younger days quite often because when I lived in Corn Hill in the 1500 block of Seymour Ave, We'd have ice delivered. We didn't have refrigerators. We had ice boxes. And you'd put something in the window to tell the ice man how much you wanted that particular day. And here's one of them. And uh, we'd usually get the uh, 50 pounds at a time. And here's another bit of trivia. We can tie ice into your bread because here's a fact. Uh, to keep the dough at a certain temperature, bread makers have to have ice on hand. Our own local Heidelberg, for example, ordered a ton and a half of ice just today. The automobile has gone through many changes through the years, but the Turnbull family's commitment to local drivers has not. Researching and selecting the best coverage for you with unparalleled service, claims handling, and settlement. Turn to a local company with four generations of knowledge and experience. Turn to Turnbull. Visit Trenton Teas, specializing in only premium quality teas, the finest varietal and herbal teas available. Nearly 100 different teas and tea accessories and scone mixes. Come in and sample Teas of Distinction at Trenton Teas in downtown Utica. Plan a visit to the Arkell Museum at Canajoharie this month and experience the bold impressionist style of J. Hall Conaway. Also enjoy American paintings from the 1920s and 30s. Visit the Arkell Museum at Canajoharie, just off the thruway at exit 29. The Village Hall Gallery in Sharon Springs presents the works of over two dozen local artists and now features beautiful Thistle Hill weavings. The Village Hall Gallery in downtown Sharon Springs. Make any day a special day and a special day even better with fresh baked pastries and cookies from Cafe Caruso on Bleecker Street in East Utica. Stop in or call ahead for special orders. Visit Maria's Pasta Shop for Italian gift baskets and be sure to order your holiday party trays. Impress your friends and family with homemade pasta from Maria's Pasta Shop, Oneida Street in Utica. Where can you find fair trade local and organic gifts like Dean's Beans Coffee, fresh bulk almonds and cashews, and hand-dipped candles and local pottery? Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. Don't let a special diet keep you from enjoying the taste of the season. The Dessert Booth has vegan, gluten-free, and other food allergy treats. Call ahead for special orders. The Dessert Booth in Clinton. Take your sweetheart on a stroll of Clinton Saturday, February 11th, and you can win a fabulous Valentine's Day package including overnight accommodations, dinner, flowers, and more from the many shops in Clinton. Take your sweetheart on a stroll and enter to win during the third annual Sweetheart Stroll in Clinton Saturday, February 11th. Bring the kids and their favorite dollar teddy bear to the Sweetheart Sales and Tea Party Saturday, February 11th. Enjoy Sweetheart Sales while the kids have tea with Raggedy Ann and Andy and special guest Elmo. Saturday, February 11th from 1 to 3 at the Shops at 25 West in Little Falls. Tonight at 6 p.m., the Oneida County Historical Society is showing the film Drums Along the Mohawk. The movie is preceded by a presentation from local historians and refreshments will be served. The cost is $2 for Monday night at the movies at the Oneida County Historical Society in Utica. It's time for the Skinner Auto Group road trip, and we're heading down into leather stocking country. On our way, we stop by our sponsor, Skinner Auto, in Richfield Springs. 
Dan LaBarge takes Richard on a tour of some of their late winter clearance vehicles that are priced to move. And we're on the move, heading to Cooperstown. We're taking the long scenic route along Route 26. We realize that even with all of our travels, we've never ventured this far along this road. And we discover it's quite an adventure. We end up north of Fly Creek at our first destination, Glimmerglass Alpacas. Alpacas were originally in part of an import for zoos and, and uh, parks back in the 80s, in the early 80s, and they were fairly uncommon. Um, when we became involved in 1996, there were probably a dozen farms in New York State, and there are certainly many, many more than that now. I have always been a knitter, and with the alpacas, after we got them, I learned to spin, and I learned to weave, and then I had to really study to, to understand yarn and what makes good yarn. And, and it's wonderfully soft, it's lightweight, it's very warm, um, strong, and it's, you know, with proper care, it's, it's an investment that would last a lifetime. It's, they're really, there's no lanolin, so there's no grease in it. It's just natural body oils and a lot of dust because they love to roll in the dust. Keeping a herd is, uh, compared to other livestock, I've found from our own personal experience of having horses, I find the alpacas to be easier to deal with. Um, they don't have a hoof. They have nails that need to be trimmed uh, on a fairly regular basis, but depending on the individual. They certainly have personalities. Um, I kind of relate them to cats. They're a lot like cats. And uh, they can be standoffish, but they can also be very affectionate as well. Um, you know, they're, they're a herd that you need to, you need to actually herd them, similar to sheep. But it's easier than herding cats. Yeah, it is herd easier than herding cats, that's true. <laughs> Although they can have their challenges as well, so Jack helps out with that. <laughs> to learn more about the animals and services at Glimmerglass Alpacas, visit GlimmerglassAlpacas.com or visit our website for links, MohawkBellyLiving.com. We continue our journey down 26 and east on Route 28 into Cooperstown. We really enjoy visiting this time of year when the village's quiet charm shines through. It's also much easier to enjoy the architecture and sense the history. The village of Cooperstown was originally part of the Cooper Patent, purchased by Judge William Cooper in 1785 and named for him. And when you get to heaven where the angels sing, Judge William Cooper's blacksmith shop, built in 1786, still stands and is the oldest building in Cooperstown. It is now home to Smithy Pioneer Gallery. Although the gallery is closed this time of year, the pottery studio out back is filled with creative energy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, everybody thinks that when the gallery shuts down, it's just dead. But not at all, especially since I've been here, we've really tried to kick things up in the winter time and keep people active and get out of their homes and stop hibernating. So um, we've got a lot of different events going on. We've got community art night starting up in February, and that's going to be every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. And people can come and just make art and create together. We've got artists coming each week to teach different crafts. It's really a lot of fun, and we've got music and food. So if you don't want to make art, you can still make friends and hang out. Um, and then we've got a film screening series. Uh, it's called Books We Love to Watch. That's every Saturday night at 7. We've got a children's story hour that is going to be every Saturday at 2. And that's going to be a lot of fun, just reading stories to the kids and then kind of reenacting what they've heard and playing. It, it's a wonderful place to be in the winter time. It's nice and warm in the pottery studio, and we just have so much fun. It, it's a really strong community of artists and art lovers and students of art that are here. And we just want to grow, 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 so that we can expand all of our programs and really serve the community and the surrounding region. So. 
If you'd like to try your hand at pottery or learn about other classes, you can call the Smithy at 607-547-8671 or visit MohawkBellyLiving.com for links. Real slower. At what point do we cut them off and then try a little lower? So this will be your stein when you come back for our We take a stroll through the village to see what's new. On the corner of Main and Chestnut, the sign says chocolate, and we say yes to vintage sweet. This new chocolatier features fine handcrafted chocolates in an old-fashioned atmosphere, complemented by an espresso or cappuccino. We head to the other end of Main Street to the historic Village Library of Cooperstown. It is open every day and is a beautiful, warm space to enjoy in the winter. This building was constructed by the Clark family, opened in 1898. Originally it was a library and a YMCA. What used to be the squash court here is now the Cooperstown Art Association Gallery. When you come here, check out the moldings on the ceiling and look at those ladders. They go up to the top shelves. So in that sense, uh, when you come here, you are treated to top shelf learning books, whatever. No. <laughs> the Village Library of Cooperstown is located across the street from the Baseball Hall of Fame and is open every day. Wednesdays are busy with story hour at 10.30 a.m. and a moderated current events discussion in the afternoon at 3. While you are in Cooperstown, find Linden Ave, take a ride down here, it's near the high school, drop into the Cooperstown Natural Food Store. In here you will find hundreds of items and you will find there are no MSGs in anything, no GMOs, no artificial colors, no high fructose corn syrup, everything is natural, head on down here. They specialize here in local products, in fact, extremely local products. For example, there are Kathleen oatmeal raisin cookies made right down the street here. And I thought I would take a bite out of one to see if it's true that they're that great. They are, mm, this is good. All natural, mm. <laughs> We hear from many people in town about the new restaurant Boca Osteria on Route 28. The family is well known for their New York pizzerias, and this fine dining restaurant is their longtime dream realized. If you want a real taste of Italy, then you come here to Cooperstown and come to Boca, because the minute you walk through the front door, you are in Italy. And if you're lucky, you will meet Giovanna, because Giovanna, she's hard to describe, she's impossible to describe. She's a real Italian mother, cook, uh, hostess, you name it. Oh, well, my, my father opened first restaurant, and then my brother, and uh, so we all in the restaurant business for a long time. I do a lot of baking, but I do make a homemade pasta a lot. What kind of pasta do you make? I make uh, like gnocchi, fettuccini, and um, what else we make? There's a lot of bucatini alla matrigiana. It's very popular. We make it over here, too. The Boca Osteria is somewhat of a replication of a restaurant that we have, our family owns in Italy. And it's been our family's dream to bring a taste of Italy to the United States, our interpretation of it. And when we opened up a pizzeria here in Cooperstown two and a half years ago, we knew that this was the demographic and the platform that we thought to bring our vision to life. Traditionally, most people living here in the United States feel that Italian cooking would be traditionally a red sauce based menu. And authentic Italian food, theoretically, most of the times would not include any red sauce at all. So there are very few items on our menu here uh, that would consist of red sauce. Um, and most people are a little surprised by that when they walk in looking for tra traditional parmesans and whatnot, which is really more of an American Italian uh, concept than an authentic Italian concept. The showpiece of the restaurant is the amazing brick oven that was built in Naples, Italy and shipped by boat to its new home here. 
Uh, it's made uh, with stones from Mount Vesuvius, which is the volcano that erupted back in the day. And uh, the stones are in, we wood fire stove, we put wood inside, and the stones will retain heat up to 900 degrees uh, and cook a pizza in about a minute and a half, minute, 45 seconds. It's the, the quick hit of the heat, uh, all the ingredients that are on there, and just the, the awe that it really brings to people as they come in and watch and see what the oven is capable of. Uh, it really gives a, a finished taste to a uh, pizza like I've really never tasted before, and I've never really had it until we got this oven in here. From the bruschetta at the beginning to the fried blueberry raviolis, raviolis at the end, it is absolutely, absolutely incredible as is everything in between. The Vetsa family invites you to visit today, and with the purchase of two menu items, you will be treated to a complimentary appetizer. May we recommend the bruschetta. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner Auto. Check out this 2004 Ford Explorer XLT. This 4x4 has been fully reconditioned and is now a steal at $89.96. Check out all the great pre-owned vehicles at Skinner Auto in Richfield Springs. Shelter is the place for extraordinary custom furniture, designed by Jim Kiefer and built to your specifications. You'll find Adirondack rustic furniture as well as fine hardwood kitchen cabinets, bedroom and dining room sets, and the exclusive line of Old Hickory at Shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. Take your sweetheart on a stroll of Clinton Saturday, February 11th, and you can win a fabulous Valentine's Day package including overnight accommodations, dinner, flowers, and more from the many shops in Clinton. Take your sweetheart on a stroll and enter to win during the third annual Sweetheart Stroll in Clinton Saturday, February 11th. The Longaretta Law Firm, protecting your rights and advising you in matters of legal importance. Call for your free consultation, 735-6162. The perfect wedding, the perfect retreat, the perfect weekend getaway. The Oneida Community Mansion House, perfect for any occasion. Call 363-0745. The fashions of the season are on sale now at the Village Crossing. Save 20 to 50% on most clothing store-wide, including shoes and Maruka handbags at the Village Crossing in Clinton. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Savor the flavor of authentic Southeast Asian cuisine at the Lotus Garden Noodle and Sushi House. The Pooh family welcomes you to lunch or dinner at the Lotus Garden, 339 Bleecker Street in downtown Utica. If you're in a collision, you need Precision. Call your insurance company first and then choose Precision Unlimited, providing expert auto body collision repair since 1987 on Route 5 in Clinton. Plan a visit to the Arkell Museum at Canajoharie this month and experience the bold impressionist style of J. Hall Conaway. Also enjoy American paintings from the 1920s and 30s. Visit the Arkell Museum at Canajoharie, just off the thruway at exit 29. Visit MohawkValleyLiving.com for recipes, articles, blogs, and videos. Visit our new website or find us on Facebook. We hope that you enjoyed today's show. I know that I did. I always enjoy coming down to this area. We're coming back next week. So between now and then, enjoy Mohawk Valley Living. What it did.